Kelsey Grammer's emotional confrontation with a man who killed his sister four decades ago. The actor seems ready to forgive, but not forget. ABC's Mara Schiavo Campo has our story. Kelsey. This morning, legendary actor Kelsey Grammer forgiving the man who murdered his little sister nearly 40 years ago. I want to believe that you actually have, have changed your life. The Frasier actor speaking via video conference to his sister's killer, Freddie Glenn, during a parole board hearing Tuesday. And I want to believe that you could even find a way to become a, a useful, productive citizen, flourish. The things you say, I accept a lot of them. Glenn was convicted of abducting Grammer's sister, Karen, with the help of accomplices when she was just 18 and stabbing her to death. And while Grammer accepted Glenn's apology, he said he still wants him behind bars for the remainder of his life sentence. She was a terrific kid. She was a wonderful, wonderful person. I miss her all the time. And I, ex I accept that you actually live with remorse every day of your life, but I live with tragedy every day of mine. This happened when he was only 20 years old. Mr. Grammer wanted Glenn to know that he was traumatically affected by what had happened to his sister. Grammer has known tragedy. On a 2012 episode of Oprah's Next Chapter, he opened up about his grandfather, father, and two half-brothers whose lives also ended suddenly and tragically. Yeah. Did you think for a while you were cursed? Did you buy into that, that the family was cursed? No, you know, but I did, I did lose my faith in God for a time. But even then, his road to forgiveness over his sister's murder was beginning to take shape. You still miss her, I can see, yeah. Could you forgive them? Maybe. maybe. It's just a maybe, though. Maybe. Now, a new father for the sixth time, beginning this next chapter of his life with forgiveness and strength. For Good Morning America, Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New York. It's got to be so hard, and Kelsey has said about his sister that she was his best friend and the best person he knew.